Hi everyone, I have received today my first pocket letter and I'm so excited to get it. Um, the gal that I exchanged with Lauren and I decided that we were going to do pocket letters that were um, done with rubber stamping because I have tons of rubber stamps so I didn't have a problem with that and um, anyway so it came today and this was the um, envelope and she drew that cute flower and it says rubber stamp pocket letter enclosed yay and um, then there was also a flower on the other side of it as well and this is what it looks like. So pretty, wrapped up in a big doily, and there's a cute flower clipped on, and washi tape. Some of you I know have been doing this for a while now and have lots of letters, but this is my first one, so I'm pretty excited. And I'm hoping that the one that I made for her has reached its destination to her as well. The post office said it was supposed to be there yesterday. Oh gosh, it looks so cute already. Oh, she put my name on it. Lauren, this is adorable. I have that stamp. That is so funny. I think it's like um, maybe Darcy's. I, it's probably not a company that's even in business anymore. Oh, isn't it so cute? She did my name in a little banner up there, and I love all the colors. Yarn. That's adorable. And that coffee cup. I think that's so funny that we both have the same. And I love bingo cards. That's adorable. And a stamp, butterfly stamp. This says creativity is contagious. Pass it on, Albert Einstein. That is so cute. And on the back side, there are cute flowers that she stamped and cut out, and a bunch of blingy um, sequins and things, cute owls, and some darling bows in the letter. Ooh, that's a cool tea. I've never seen that kind of tea. I've never seen McCormick tea, and I've never had hibiscus, so that will be fun to try. Looks like a bunch of stickers, and some bling, and a thing about Lauren, and um, the date, probably that she mailed the letter off or finished the letter. And another bingo. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, cool. Oh, I see what she did. She stamped it right onto like a paint thing. And there's another one. That's a great idea. And the bingo card. <clears throat> so fun. Well, I'm just tickled with this, and um, I'll be looking at it over and over and over again. <laughs> it's so much fun. I just, the whole idea of these pocket letters is fun. I used to do, um, oh, a long time ago, Rubber Stamp Madness, which is a stamping magazine that's still in business, and they... Um, They've moved around. Actually, I believe they started um, publishing their magazine in New York. 
and now they are actually here in my home state of Oregon and in a town that's only about an hour away from me. And anyway, um, they always have a pen pal section in the back of the magazine. And so um, many years ago, I um, responded to a couple of different um, pen pal ads that were in there. And um, one of the gals, uh, Frances Burney, who has um, a really awesome blog. She still stamps. She loves owls. I think her blog is called Stamp Owl. Um, she's been on design teams for several, several companies and um, has a very active um, Facebook and uh, page and blog. <clears throat> anyway, I remember just treasuring every um, card that I received, and hers were always very cool. Um, I still have them. And then I was also um, pen pals with a gal in Hawaii, and it was just so much fun, especially to have the cards and letters come from somewhere that I'd never been and still haven't been to either one of those places. So... Um, this, you know, is the same kind of thing. You get to meet people through mail, basically, and um, it's just fun. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I think there's another letter on its way to me, and when that one comes, I will do a quick video of that one as well. Thanks so much, and see you again soon. Bye-bye.